Hey everybody! How's it going? Happy Monday. <laughs> Happy Monday to you too, Zeph. No! Well, who was it? Dark Passenger? Congrats, Dark Passenger, on getting the fry. And thank you, Justin, for the raid! Emo Justin. Oh. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so you saw I got the audio working. <laughs> Yeah, so it's not exclamation mark, no. Yeah, it's a channel point redemption. Because, yeah, I didn't want it to spam too much. But I think it's, yeah, I think it works. I, th I think it works. And, yeah, it, the little, no! <laughs> it's very much, very much in the moment. That's, that's the, the, you know, that stuff makes the best clips, is when it's, like, totally in the moment, right? Uh, such a that was such a, it was so funny I I just was so funny that was completely my reaction to <laughs> googling that <laughs> and <laughs> and it actually literally going to the first link which I should not have you know should not have uh, clicked the first link so <laughs> yeah don't do that. All right. Um, well, thank you, Justin, for the raid. Justin, I know you were doing, uh, you know, I'm not going to remember that. Oh, wait, did we do a shout out for you? I don't know if we even did a shout out. Do that. I can't remember the name of the game. That's why I'm doing a shout out again. Dying Light. I remember there were zombies. You had an axe monado and you were trying to, did he do it? Oh, well, you got another one. And you were you were attacking zombies with the axe monado. It had lightning and everything. So, but yeah, how long does it how long does it take to get into the? Because it looked like you had painted your nails black, and you'd done the eyeliner. Oh, and the 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 <laughs> the fake little uh, lip rings, which is funny. How long how long does it take to get? About forty five minutes. Wow. <laughs> Someone asked me one day, we were in a McDonald's, and someone asked me how long it takes me to get my beard ready. I'm like, it, probably longer if I didn't have it. What were you going to say, Neil? Neil's years, years ago, Yeah, I had someone stop me. I was in the body shop. Yeah. And it was the guy and his mom. I turned out to be K and was vibing me, but um, they were asking me what I did to my beard, <laughs> and and my beard was a little longer then. Yeah, it was, than it is right now because it was cooler. Yeah, uh, you would have longer beard if we had cooler weather. <laughs> um, but it's Florida, so no. How, how you had that all that going on on your face, like how you can stand that, I'll never understand. Um, gotten used to it. I would just be. Well, I would, I would be, I would, my, it, my face would be all sweaty all the time. And then I would just get like zipples. Yeah. Under the beard. And that's gross. So, Neil's in a constant fight. His skin is rejecting Florida. Over my skin the last... is rejecting life. <laughs> um, <laughs> He's in a constant fight, but no, what's, what's amazing about but, Neil's beard is that he doesn't have to trim the under neck part. It just kind of ends and it has a, 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 like a perfect line. They were like, what is it that you do? It's so nice and yeah, whatever. And I was just like, I, I shampoo it. <laughs> <laughs> like they, they sell all this beard oil and whatever. Yeah, I, use, I never yeah. use any of that. I use like a, I use a co-wash. I, I wash I wash my beard and I put the co wash in and let it seep in before I rinse <laughs> and then I, I, and then I, I use I a little use beard oil and then I use a little um, balm. I literally use the shampoo that we use on our hair <laughs> on my face and nothing else. Uh, and then, and then after that I wash my face with soap. There you go. Um, I wash my face with soap as well. <laughs> I, I don't like my, mine isn't drying out or anything no. and and if mine gets longer yeah it gets it gets totally greasier through it yeah. you wash yours with maple syrup <laughs> wow that's uh that's uh sticky that, there 
I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> yeah, so I don't... Yeah, I don't... I usually... I shampoo mine... I don't always shampoo my beard. I shampoo my hair. But I shampoo my beard... Um, like once a week or so. I mean, I always rinse it. Hey. Yeah. Mute for a second. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's Mountain Drew do. <laughs> okay. Uh, let, let's, uh, yeah, no, beard secrets. Let's do, um, let's do a, sh a, a clip from, uh, Justin real quick. Whoops. There we go. Oh no, don't watch. Ultra hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them, oh. and stick them in other objects. <laughs> <laughs> stick them in other objects. Oh, like, the, do you use the silent so... duck in that game, Neil, at all? No. My no. mind is so corrupt. I, I, no. I had dirty exactly. right there. No. I was immediately thinking about. Did it play? Where did it play? Sticking did it play? And other things. <laughs> I don't remember it sticking out of the ground like that. I don't know what's going on here. Did it? Did it, did the no play on top? Where did the no play? Did it play on top of that? <laughs> did you send it to me? I'm I'm trying to. I'm trying to do multiple things here. Oh, okay. You said phone number, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> You should have it now. <laughs> that came over the microphone. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. Y'all all got Your to phone? hear my phone say hey. His, yeah, his phone says hey when he gets a text message. Did it, was it under? Okay, let me look at this. Okay, so where does play? Oh, you know what? All right, hold on. We've got to fix this. Oh no! <laughs> that was that was that was bad. <laughs> uh. All right, I still want to fix this. Your phone is rude when it rings. What does it do? Okay. Okay, it's fixed now. So we're gonna play another clip. And if someone while the clip is playing, uh, do no. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Oh, thank God. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I have been. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I like all of these uh, uh, spoilers I've been getting. From Tears of the Kingdom. I don't think that you've gotten any ruler. <laughs> Neil, uh, no, no, it's okay. I, I was just joking. Um, oh. Neil today was trying to use the the amiibos <laughs> to get shit in uh, Tears of the Kingdom. So he had stolen some of my amiibos to to try and use uh, in the game. So I'm looking forward to. To doing that i'm also you know i'm still have been enjoying G xenoblade chronicles so don't get me wrong um, but thanks again justin if y'all aren't following justin you should go follow justin <laughs> oh that's what your phone sings <laughs> that's gotta be great when you're in a public uh, public place that's nice <laughs> um wait what? <laughs> That's what Evil Butt's phone says. He that, says it's rude when it rings. That phone needs some monostat. Yeah. Um, uh, where are we in Xenoblade Chronicles? We're still trying to make our way up the um, 
uh see it's been it's been i've missed one stream and and did the special which by the way is on youtube if you want if you missed it and want to go go watch it it's over at the youtubes on the youtubes um we're uh, going up the mechanis and we're we're heading towards the the lady just said we need to go to the capital and i can't remember what the name of the capital i named it the the streams named after it but uh it's uh, so we're heading to the the mechanis capital we're on chapter 14 now i think we're on 14. yes we still have to fight a boss right we have to fight the boss and then we're heading to yes uh i'm not gonna be able to pronounce that a grin uh, a grinerthia Ag Ag agronarthia anyway all right that's where we're heading Ag Agnertha? Agnertha, yeah. Agnertha? That doesn't sound that doesn't sound like a, a really cool place. A, I don't a, know if I want to go to this Agnertha. Agnirth. Sounds like a heart disorder. <laughs> Agnirtha? Yeah. If you're allergic to Agnirtha, you should not take any of it. Or if you're allergic to any of its Only Agnirtha can be Agnirtha. Exactly. And if you have an erection for more than three hours, see a doctor immediately. Y'all, so some of y'all might be old enough, but some of y'all are probably not old enough to remember. They used to have this rule. The F, the, the uh, FDA had this rule where drugs could not talk about anything about what they did <laughs> or their side effects or and they could really only like if they advertised on television. All they could basically say is. The yeah, name of the drugs and talk to your doctor about this doctor. drug. So doctor. you'd get these weird commercials that would be like, only Zantac is Zantac. <laughs> talk to your doctor about Zantac. <laughs> or there was one there was one Claritin ad that was especially acid flashback that in the late nineties. Yeah. And I'll remember it to this day. And it was like, only Claritin is Claritin. <laughs> What do you call a lollipop that tastes like chicken? Gross. <laughs> uh, a cocksucker, of course. That's actually obvious now that you say it. <laughs> All right, have a good one, Zab. A drumstick would have been a good one. Um, I liked my always. answer. Gross. Gross. We can take a break and play a game off the arcade like Nibbler. Does not have to be Nibbler. It can be any of the games on the arcade list. Also, vote. If you haven't voted, we're getting the close to the end of Xenoblade Chronicles. I know it seems like it's been going on forever, but we are getting close to it. Where's my thing? Okay. And so we will be we will be picking very soon. Wait. So. All right. Oh no, wait. You might as well not start that. Let's start. What are you talking about? Are you gonna try and, are you gonna do arcade mode? I am, if I can find it in the goddamn list. <laughs> Where did it go? Down well, it's too late, I've already started it. Oh, there it is. You want me to stop? Okay. What do you want me to play, Neil? Moon Patrol. Moon Patrol. That's like your favorite. I know. That's why I'm asking you to play it. All right. He he never asks me. He never. <laughs> Neil never plays arcade mode at home. All right. Neil WTF wants me to play Moon Patrol in arcade mode. Well, I mean, I, I knew not to say like Galga because that would be the whole screen. They like Galaga. It's like a thirty minutes a game. Uh, moon. Oh, not Moonwalker. We want the Moon Patrol. Thirty-six, eight, ten is the high score we're trying to beat. Boom. 
And let's change that marquee off of Paperboy to Boom Patrol. Probably in the M's. Still don't see it. Sorry. What, what are you sorry about? I, I belched. You belched? Okay. There, there's the marquee. Do you remember? Does that marquee bring back memories at all? Um, yes. Although I remember that less from the front of it and more like from the side of it. That was. I think the Moon Patrol I saw had been yeah. re, re, reworked. It was old. Yeah. Just chatting. Is it, is it still? I, I, was only, I was only in a just chatting streamer for yesterday. I'm not a just chatting streamer. It's not still like that, is it? Don't, don't make me paranoid. No, it's set to Xenoblade. No, it's not set to. All right. No, that was just yesterday. <laughs> You're just being sassy. Okay. All right. Let's play some Moon Patrol. Is it because I was talking about old drug ads? <laughs> no. It's, well, it's. It is like we did spend the first 20 minutes of the stream chat. my hip just pop for the follow. Right, this next one is a little tricky.
Yes. What was the high score? 36? I need to maybe jump over both of those boulders or something. I didn't beat it, but we will play it again. <laughs> How far did you get? I got past the the like there should they should outlaw mining the moon. You know the mines that you just have to hop over the mines. I oh, passed the mines. that. I got oh, into yeah, the next yeah, one. Yeah. The, the one after that has like an incline and boulders roll at you. That's like the fourth fourth zone or something. Yeah, like it's it's uh, the first two sections are pretty easy. The mines are pain in the ass because there's a lot of slowing down and speeding up. You have to really pay attention. Oh no. Pat Sajak's going to retire next year. What? I must stay. I don't even know. I would say though he's at least been doing it as long as I've been alive. Yeah, he's 76. Oh, is he? Yeah, I figured he's pretty, pretty old. So when, when I was in high school, he had a, a very short-lived talk show. And uh, for my senior trip, we went to Los Angeles, me and my best friend. And we had tickets to see Arsenio Hall, Johnny Carson, and Pat Sajak. And we didn't go see Pat Sajak. <laughs> we did not go see Pat Sajak. Sajak rejects the scientific consensus on climate change. Hey, pass. Sajak does not believe in climate change. Is that what you just said? Yes. Wow. He also supports something called Young Americans, which a Young Americas Foundation, which uh, sends conservative speakers out to college campuses. And yes, this was the first game to have. Parallax scrolling. Yeah, it was it was known for its parallax scrolling. Yeah, you're right, Richie Kinku. Okay, it's a wonderful parallax scrolling. It's one of the first things I learned 
when I was in school, just do, do, uh, do, 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 parallax do, 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 do. Um. So I was mentioning I went, we went and saw. Well, we didn't see Johnny Carson because he wasn't there. He had a guest host, and that guest host was uh, Jay Leno. And so we saw Jay Leno. Did his head bow back and forth? Yeah. Hey. I'm Jay Leno. Yeah, it was Jay Leno. And uh, I, I don't remember. I remember Arsenio, Arsenio Hall. Arsenio Hall. <laughs> um, he filmed on the CBS lot. No, no, I'm sorry. That would have been CBS. NBC lot. Wait. All I remember is I wore a, a Letterman shirt to Arsenio Hall. <laughs> That's all I remember. Anyway. All right, let's play another game of Move Patrol. Remember Arsenio Hall being a lot of fun, and the stage was really huge. The Tonight Show stage was really small. Did you know there was an animated series in 1988? The Completely Mental Misadventures of Ed Grimley? <laughs> no! But that explains why I, this guy that I knew in college talked about his Ed Grimley lunchbox. Right, right. It's like, how did you get there from Pat Sajak? Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> Is it because he thought Pat Sajak was a guy? Yes, and it's not bad, I must say. Yeah, and, and Grimley was the character on Saturday Night Live, played by Martin Short. Uh, actually, he had that character on SCTV oh, as well. Oh, did he have it on SCTV yeah. as well? And he liked to play the triangle. Which for him consists of playing a recorded musical piece and striking the triangle once and then wildly dancing to the recording. Mental Misadventures of Ed Grimley is the only Saturday morning animated adaptation of both an SCTV character and a Saturday Night Live character, and the first Saturday morning fe cartoon featuring an SCTV ca cast member. Later joined by Camp Candy featuring John Candy and Rick Moranis' Gravedale High. Well, we know Matthew J. You would know who Ed Grimley is, because <laughs> you're our age. <laughs> um yeah i was trying to figure out what how you got to pat sajak because he would always talk about pat sajak so oh this this game this game is great yeah, this is I, I, why I, did I, why was this like your favorite game uh because i could play it <laughs> 
game is pretty easy. Well, like, was it at a pizza place? Um, so I remember it. Uh, it was. We used to go to this um, arcade, and it was you know it was it was a lights out arcade. There was nobody in there. There was just a change machine and a bunch of arcade machines. And it was at the beach, and we went there a lot. It's not there anymore, sadly. But like, not all of the machines worked. Uh, but with Moon Patrol, I could sit there and make turn a quarter into half an hour. With anything else, they weren't lasting as long. I don't think I've seen them kind of that like that. Like, I love Galga, but I don't think I've ever seen past level four or five. I think I get up to level 24 or something like that. Yeah, I've seen you do do things on Galga that I've never seen Galga do. Thanks for following! This is the tough one with the mines. It takes a lot of timing. Onto the fourth level. Yeah. Nice. Shipwreck. It's taken me till I'm in my fifties to, to do stuff. Interestingly, I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't be any good at that challenge because I have even less patience now than I had then. But I think that's just based on that I have less time and life available. Eight 
790. Still didn't beat it, Neil. Sorry, Neil. I did not beat the high score. It's okay. <laughs> but did you like seeing Moon Patrol? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I never get to play it anymore because... I mean, so y'all can hear it. So y'all can hear it. We have no speakers. Oh, sure. Yes. That work. In That's here. true. You like the audio. Well, I can, anytime you want to play it, I can hook it up and you can put these headphones on and play. I don't know. I don't, I don't. So, so part of the great thing about the arcade machine was the speaker they put in it. That was loud and bassy. Like I, re I can, I, I can remember. And like those speakers never really could do get Galga the way Galga sounds. Because Galga had a great big speaker in it. Yeah. Do we need to hook up a speaker? The ex <laughs> the explosion in Galga on a good speaker is an amazing thing. I you know I I've mentioned this before, but like uh, stuff like uh, Kubert that actually had the solenoid in it. Oh yeah. And when he would jump off the map, it would make a click inside the cabinet. I was thought I was well, fascinated by we that. We could we could probably do that <laughs> if we could get the soft. Know. If we could get the software to yes, send, that's, I don't think it does that. Maybe to send us something out. Yeah, a symbol for under my chair. I don't know about that. All right, let's see if we can get these guys. Let's... Hold on, I need to use the power of my Monado. Hold on, we need some audio. Toppled. It's not. It's like not even worth using my Monado power for that. All together now. Let's do it. <laughs> but it's my Monado power. Takes so much damage. I speeded myself. See, this is where the spikes totally killed us. The spikes killed us there. Go big truck! I always want to do like, ah, uh, ha, uh, because it's a big truck. How's it going, Kurt? Welcome, everyone. Thanks for following. How was Fortnite? I was. I didn't even need to look to see what you were playing. I was pretty sure it was Fortnite. It was a Fortnite night. What is today? It's Monday. Gosh, is it only Monday? <laughs> welcome, welcome. How's it going, everyone? It's a Fortnite night. Yeah. With the ladies. Oh. Well, hello, ladies. Had some fun? Awesome. Well, we are playing... We're still playing oh Xenoblade Chronicles. This is like the 20th stream of Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, so that means I've been playing it for like five weeks now. Oh, thank you, Mama... Is it Mama Spud? Thank you. I've grown it out lately. I haven't always had this long beard. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Is it okay if, yeah, thank you. Neil's here too. Say hi, Neil. Hi, Neil. <laughs> oh, there's my beard cam. Oh, see my, my beard sparkles. Hey, Kurt. Well. Hope you're doing well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad you're doing well, Kurt, in all its glory. <laughs> oh, thanks. 
Um, let's play clip. Real quick. And thank you so much for the raid. Oh, let's see what it is. Do the grand voice. Ooh, forgot. Oh, Shannon got a oh. one. Catwoman <laughs> and Marie got a one, and Court got five. <laughs> and there you go. Good job. Oh, God. <laughs> You're going to have to explain what's going on. I don't know what that was, but... Okay. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> so what was going on there? What was, that's, was that from tonight? Was that from tonight, or was that just another... Another time. Oh, Scottish Grey. Oh, got it. Got it. Oh, no, not that one. Oh, maybe, maybe I should look for spike defense. You know what? I don't think I even have spike defense gems. Like, I should probably go and look for spike defense stuff. Is there like an indicator of like what level spikes they have? Like, do I need a certain level of spike defense? Thanks again, Kurt, for the raid. Yeah, see, here we go. We're going to get hurt again. Thanks for the lark. I feel like, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to I'm topple him. Percentage. Ah, I get it. Yeah, we did just as good not toppling him. Yeah, I, may, I may not even try to topple him. If I do this again. There we go. We got him. What's this Toppled. Come on, Charla. Come save us. Oh, never mind.
Oh shit, we don't have... What did he say? Did I ignore him? Oh, was he, <laughs> was he still toppled? Yeah. You're like, you speak a good game. You're like, Charlotte, why aren't you saving us? And then you don't go save him. You're busy saving everybody. Maybe we should stop here for a while. Gauntlets. We did it! We did it! Oh, she has the spike defense. See, she's using... <laughs> she, she's using the spike defense. Yeah, exactly. I'm the protagonist. No, well, if it's spoilery, I don't want to know. Da, 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 da. Is it gonna say like you can't go here? Oh no, I can. The ether deposit. Which ether deposit? The one that was on the on the last floor. Sorry, but there's a... If I get killed, I'm not going to be happy. Losing 
Down the last one. Okay. Snap out of it. Chance getting shorter. Reset my cursor. I just hate that some attacks basically take you from full health to no health. But sometimes it feels like it's luck. I thought we were done for too. Lord Legging Leggings. And the Lord of the Leggings. Oh my goodness, he's turned into a dandy. He's a dandy. Look at that. Look at his outfit. Yay. <laughs> Lord of the leggings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've we've abandoned Colony Six. Uh, my enchants pretty uh pretty big. I uh, see my my enchants, you know, bigger than your enchants. South. South, south. Oh, the other side of the disc. Huh. 
Listen to this epic music. And then Justin led me to my death. He was like, you must. He's like, you don't do what I say. I will not give you untold riches of a hundred bits. Untold riches are now. I thought there was inflation going on. You're like, yes, inflation. Therefore, untold riches to you. But I'm giving untold riches, it's only 10, but. I was just joking. I do not expect anyone to, to uh, give me any bits, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Well, I mean, that's exactly what's happening. People have, you know, there's, uh, what is it? Ma is who's? It's like a hierarchy of needs. Maslow's, is that right? Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Don't quote me on that. Uh, and, you know, food, shelter, clothing. Bits, right? Bits are in there. And I guess we go here. We're beaming somewhere. Not tits. Hit, uh, uh, bits. Advance, Nuffon heroes. No, but the Nuffon hero is with us. I see you finally decided to show up. Let's see if we can bust these rust buckets like last time. Think we can do it? We'll get them. With this many troops I'm sorry you're side, wrong. We don't even need Shulk's help. You're telling me you're more worried about the kid's schedule. Kinda soft for you, Athoran. Shut up! Get moving! Division 4, defend the barrier. Division 6, assist any wounded harms. You may be a bunch of sissies, but they've got some pretty nifty gear! That idiot! He'll get his head knocked off at this rate! Ha! Keep it up! Show everyone the power of the Japan! Go, Japan, go! Fight like a hero Ricky! <laughs> it appears we have gained the upper hand. That's hilarious. Sire, if we hold our current position, a great victory is within our grasp. It is still too early to come to that conclusion. The enemy still has hidden forces. Your Highness, enemy reinforcements approaching from above. It's a face squadron. Uh oh. Flash Gordon approaching? They're here. Divisions one to three, continue supporting the Homs and encircle the faces. Your Highness, think of yourself. Once the Vanguard has been eliminated, we must join the fight. Better that than die as cowards. Move! <laughs> ha! Stick this in your exhaust pipe and smoke it. <laughs> Taste yet. Eat this. There you go, Dex. Should have stayed at home. I think he has Lousy regular ears. Mm. 
They're doing rather well. I do so enjoy a good show. But they have yet to unleash their power and fulfill their true potential. Deadbeat drones! Come out and face us like real machines! I'll sort out the lot of you, scum! All right. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, on the factory transporter, in residential district one, It's Agnrithia. <laughs> well, maybe they'll say it here. So this is the Maconis capital? Yes, Agniratha. Agniratha. The heart of the Machina civilization. Seems abandoned. It looks so desolate. Like there are no signs of anyone living here. It truly is a soul hey, city. Here, bad place. Ricky want to go. Oh, so thanks, the Machina Bobby. built this whole city. Not too shabby. It looks like the buildings have been here for a very long time. It was fun. I was glad to do it. Look, Shulk. Dino Beast. Dino Beast eat city. A Dino Beast? Here. But how? It is a Telethia. Yeah. It looks like it's stone. Why would there be a Telethia in a place like this? The fossilized Telethia are what remain of the beasts that attacked the capital in the ancient battle. Why did the Telethia attack your city? Wasn't the ancient battle only between the Bionis and the Mechonis themselves? The answer to your question can be found in that tower, the data center. It is better that you see with your own eyes. Only then will you truly understand what happened between the Bionis and the Mechonis. Yeah, cool, Bobby. I was going to ask you if, if, uh, if Jason had shared that with you. Yeah, so we're doing on... So on... on um, Friday, I believe it is. Yeah, Friday is going to be another special stream. I believe we're going to be doing that one over at the Overture uh, channel. Um, and I'll put out all the information in my Discord. Uh, and and hopefully by Wednesday stream, I'll know more about it. But we're going to do a, um, a, a one-shot, like a, a tabletop RPG one-shot. And it's going to be uh, sci-fi based. And so uh, I, th I believe Play It Jason is, is, uh, is organizing that one. And so that'll be fun. Uh, I have already made my character. And uh, so that'll be a little bit different uh, too. So. <laughs> yes, I have already made my character. And I've seen what the other, uh, other people have done. And I think it's going to be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to it. I, I have never... I used to play D&D &D a long time ago. So I'm a, I'm a, a D&D. But I usually was the DM. Well, I guess, you know, there is a little bit of creativity to the DM because you're basically playing all the other characters. And so I guess there is something to that to, in that effect, too. Yeah, we'll put, I'll put the, dis, the details on the Discord, but uh, it'll be it will it'll I'm thinking it'll be probably around my new, usual stream time on Friday and it will be at uh, that channel right there. You want to go ahead and give it a follow i'll what i'll usually do i have team overture in my kind of um i have that channel in my um 
was it list the recommended channels so it should play on my channel as a rec you know as a recommended channel if you come here what is this these are all quests and it's like automated this is weird have that it's funny because I have it's either only for her or I have it or I have something better I feel like I have to check and make sure. All of this stuff is heavy. Right. Yeah, it's been really fun. I, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, the story has been amazing. They've done a really good job of uh, with the story. Investigate the small Telethia. Okay. So usually you get you usually get these from people. And this is kind of like an abandoned city, and so you're kind of like. Uh, Unless these these things are people. Ah. Is that what it says? Military status trouble. Yeah, I've never learned to read. That was a civilian protection terminal. Civil. <laughs> so they're not alive, they're terminals. Most of these have just been fine stuff. Oh wait, that's the shop terminal. Uh, so one thing I saw was which one actually had. There was one that actually had experience points. I missed one? Oh, you're right, you're right. I did miss one. I did. Let's go up. It's a floating Monado. 
Lend us your power, Monado. The hero of the Monado is tired. He's yawning. What's going on here? Oh, they're all over here. How oh, interesting. We'll go this way. Uh, it looks like the power's up and running. Uh oh. Fiora, what's the matter? Everyone, <laughs> follow me. That's my playthrough right there. That is the commentary. Okay. What is that? It looks like it's here. But it's just an image. <laughs> it's called a hologram? No way. Whoa. You're right. These are memories of a time long forgotten. Fiora. Hey. They were left behind by the Machina. Before they abandoned this place, so that others may know their story. Her voice sounds like... In ancient times, when the Bionis and the Mekonis came into existence, I was born as well. Just as the Bionis had a soul, I came to exist in this world. As the soul of the Mekonis. I created my children on Mekonis and acquired this body. They called themselves Machina. And Mekonis was transformed into a world brimming with life. The Machina gave rise to an advanced civilization. Oh, did they create the Mekon? This, this city. I can't believe it used to be so lively. They lived their lives in peace and harmony. The gentle Machina worshipped me. Life also flourished on Bionis. Oh, look out, Justin. This might involve evolution. The Machina generously shared the fruits of their civilization with the peoples of the Bionis. They believed their two worlds would grow hand in hand. Then, a terrible fate descended on them from above. What the hell? Monado? The Monado? But why? Why would the Bionis... Wielding the Sword of Light, the Bionis attempted to destroy the Machina. Are we the... Are we the asshole? Are we the asshole? Crap. <gasps> are those Telethia? <laughs> exactly. I tried to save the Machina and confronted the Bionis. And so I confronted Zanza. Zanza? It was like self-defense, basically. The battle waged on and on. Even as our life forces depleted, Zanz and I continued to fight. 
that Zanza is the Bionis soul. However, it did at last come to an end. Giant. This is when Zanza was imprisoned. Taking advantage of my final blow to the Bionists, its beings took Zanza and sealed him firmly. However, the battle with Zanza had greatly consumed my life force. I warned the surviving Machina that the Bionis had not yet been destroyed, and that one day he would be released. Oops, we released them. I'm the one who released him. I then entered a long and deep slumber in preparation for Zanza's inevitable reawakening. It's all clear to me what you wanted to do. Stop the battle between the Bionis and the Maconis. Fiora, I see now. It was her inside you. Yes. Lady Maynus desired a body in which she could be free. And after you were captured by Egil's Mekon, it was I who transferred her soul into your body. But why did it have to be my body? Great. My girlfriend's because the Makanis. You are close to Shulk. The heir to the Monado. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> it was all because of our world, because of Bionis, that this city was devastated. Now I understand why Egil would want to stop the Bionis from reawakening. I get it too. But how's killing any of us gonna solve his problem? Precisely. What happened to the Machina was a tragedy. But we cannot forgive the Mechon attack on Bionis. What worries me is the Monado that the Bionis used. It's no different from how the legends describe, but still. It must hold a deadly power. But you have used it wisely, Shulk. It has not overwhelmed you, as it did me. He's right. If you hadn't been using the Monado, we wouldn't have lasted five minutes. But it was Zanza who bestowed this sword upon me. However, it is not Zanza who now wields the Monado. It is you, Shulk. <sighs> that is also the reason why Maynath chose Fiora as a vessel. So that the tragedy of he who wields the Monado would not be repeated. The tragedy of he who wields the Monado. Shulk, believe. Believe in the path you have chosen, and those who walk it with you. Maynath once said this of the Monado. The Monado is not simply a unique weapon. It is the light within each and every person in this world. Light? It's like my what heart. What do you mean? It is the light of life. The will heart. to survive no matter what. Perhaps Lady Maynath was drawn to your light. Beyond there lies the Maynath Shrine. Egil will be there. Is it still your intention to defeat Egil? That has not changed. We understand the history of Mekonis now. If he is willing to listen, we will try to reason with him. But if not... I understand. I think you're going to have to stop Zanza. Then, if that is your decision, so be it. I will try to persuade Egil one last time. 
But I am prepared for his refusal. Venea. <laughs> yeah. Shock was to bring Vanilla balance to the force. To persuade him, but she didn't sound confident. We have to go after her. But how do we get to the shrine from here? Up ahead is a transporter leading to the shrine. But it's inactive. We need to trigger the verification devices to activate it. Of course. We'll find one at the top of each of the four pillars. If we trigger them all, we can use the transporter. Uh, how for you to know that? Mayneth's memories. She tells me these things. Do you know how to trigger them? Maybe my body itself is the key. Okay. Then let's I get am the gatekeeper. Are you the key master? Are you the Monado wielder? All right. Oh, we're back down here. <laughs> it does feel like that. It's like we need to we need to stretch out the story, stretch out the story. <laughs> So let's uh let's do a uh a fries quest break real quick. Exclamation mark join may have been unmarked. Okay, I'll take a look real quick. Buy something, will ya? No, it's it's still marked. Um it's just uh all the exclamation marks are on the next level. <sighs> no, I don't know if we're going to go back up that way. Oh, we'll see. Uh, let me wander around and see. But I, I would assume by what you're saying is I should do that one. That one had all the experience points. Everything else was for gold. Ready for action. Few more seconds and then everyone can join. Ready for action. Yeah, if you played last game, you can now join. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Yeah. <laughs> what I'll do is if I ex if I come across a, a red exclamation mark, I'll do it. But I'll concentrate on the blue exclamation marks and advancing the story. One more slot open if you'd like to play. Ready for battle. for battle shops closed have fun counting sheep <laughs> all right i am gonna take a quick break and i'll be right back see you in a second
something, will ya? Ready for battle. Ready for action. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Any value that has is totally wasted on you. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Ready Have for battle. Fun storm in the castle.
having a special today. Uh, nothing! Ready for battle. Do you want fries with that? Well, too bad! Ready for action. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Ready, Ready for, battle. for battle. Ready Give for them hell, kiddo. back. By the way, I made a note. Make monsters harder. Players are winning too often. Need to make them harder. <laughs> Why are you saying that? As the players are winning too often. Are they? <laughs> they are. If anybody survives, you, are they winning too often? Yeah, if they survive too much. I want I want the monsters to win every once in a while. Or I want it to get close. I want it to be close. <laughs> I want to know what I love want it to is. be challenging. I want to know what love is. I want, and I want you to share me. Is. I want you to show me. <laughs> Eating an ice cream. <laughs> You're doing pretty well. You still have 45 hit points left. Like, it's amazing to me that the same band that made, like, Cold as Ice and Double Vision and Hot Blooded and Urgent. Hot Blooded! Not, but a few years ago, later, made. I want to know what love is, <laughs> and I've been waiting for a girl like you. I've been waiting for a girl like you.
Yeah, that's true. It's the rock ballad. Just didn't. <laughs> Corner wasn't even popular when I was a teenager. <laughs> like, you know, that's Justin looking back at bands way before he was born. I know? guess. Yeah. It's just like we like the Beatles, right? Beatles were before we were born. I like the Beatles, but I didn't say they were my favorite band when I was a teenager. <laughs> It would be like me saying, oh, I was really into the Big Bopper. Big Bopper. <laughs> I was so into New Kids on the Block. Uh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 yeah, but te uh, technically uh, they uh, were uh, popular uh, uh, when you were a teen. The right stuff. They were it when I was in. When you were a teenager. Yeah. yeah. You were when you were a teenager. And technically, you are gay, so it would make sense that you <laughs> like them. Actually, I was not a big. Uh, I did. I I thought they were okay. Um, no, I just... did. I did go see them in concert. I saw New Kids on the Block in concert, but I I went with my sister, who was a big New Kids on the Block, and we went. We were like in the nosebleeds and. New Kids on the Block was like that that big. Was it in Dallas? It was in Dallas, yeah. Yeah. Justin, I, I, it's not that I think you did anything that was popular or not. It's just like, it just seemed unlikely. Uh, like, maybe I just don't have a good beat on what your age is. Because <laughs> uh, I'm expecting your... Early 30s. 10 to 15 to 20 years younger than I am. Yeah, yeah. So, like, to find even find Foreigner on the radio in sometime in the '90s, you're having to go to that radio station that like women listen to in an office at a very low volume, so you can barely hear it, and like they're listening for their number to be called on some contest in the summer. Hot time, summer city. Congrats, Shipwreck. classic rock station well what's your favorite foreigner song or was your favorite foreigner song if you're not wow we leveled up with that And I love that you put the frequency like that would mean anything to me not living in your market. Did you get, did you get like Dallas radio stations at all? In, a, in where you're at now? Yeah. Juicebox Hero is never my favorite of them. It's okay. It's definitely better than. I mean, obviously, from what I said, I would say my favorites were either old designs or double vision. <laughs> weird though now because they still are out there like touring the guy who sang for them retired so it's some other guy so it's weird to see like some other guy much younger than the rest of the band usually that's the drummer All right, eighty-nine thousand. Yeah, well <laughs> we did it. That was a great chain of that. Right, right, 
Well, no, I don't hate that you like them. I just don't like them. Def Leppard's the best rock band for a one-armed drummer. I say that all the time. Oh no, we're toppled. Get up. I mean, anybody who did pour some sugar on me. The, the anthem of strip clubs everywhere. No, no that's just love hurts. Was, love hurts is Nazareth. Love bites. Love hurts is Nazareth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sometimes he's L love hurts has at least seventy-five percent more emotion than any Def Leppard song. <laughs> Just an epic figure. Your favorite foreigner song would be "Dirty White Boy." But, you know, it was the 80s. People loved schlock, you know. I want to know what love is went to number one. And one, two, three, four, five, six countries. Six. Well, the public disagreed with you, because uh, waiting for a girl like you and I want to know what love is went platinum. <laughs> oh wow! Jukebox Hero went platinum too. Keep on going like this, guys. Hot blooded went platinum. Old as ice and double vision went gold. Oh, I forgot about say you will. I don't want to live without you. I don't even. But how's that going? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to look it up. I remember it vaguely. Oh, okay. Uh, both of those were kind of those anthemic ballads that they yeah. got in the 80s. It's from the, it's from like 87 or 88. You're like, I didn't even know they put it on an album now. And you wouldn't have been the only one. That's why <laughs> you know they didn't sell a lot. Did you know they put out an album and? 2004 and 1995? Yep. 2009? They put, they put out an album in 2009 called Can't Slow Down. Alright. We dispatched those people. Go. Hello. I mean, if you could, if you could play music on YouTube and not like have the record levels go insane, I would probably discuss and play music. But well, I mean, obviously. Some channels do that if you were just watching one today. With people bobbing their heads. <laughs> well, I mean, they're so they're they're releasing everything to Patreon. Uh, okay. Uh, and 
they just take a wash on anything on YouTube if YouTube plays it. Uh, sometimes they have stuff YouTube won't let, like it, cut, it immediately just is like, no, your video has been taken down. And they'll uh, basically edit out the song part of it and say, um, YouTube won't let us do this, so you can look at it on our Patreon. I'm not joining Patreon. Not for them, anyway. <laughs> I have to do Patreon. Red Le I contribute to Red Ladder Media's Patreon. Yeah, but you have for a long time. Yeah. Oh, they just reviewed Shout by Tears for Fears. That ought to be amusing. Yeah, so I'll look over there and I'll see he's watching a YouTube video and just the, there's two people on there going, doing this. Well, w yeah, one shakes his head up and down and the other one is from side to side. Side to side? Yeah. And one, his mouth is usually closed. <laughs> the one who goes up and down. And the one that's from side to side, his mouth is usually sort of hanging open. He's a mouth breather. <laughs> mouth breather being the worst epithet you can ever get from me. Yeah. Um, and he will also, if he gets really into the song, have just make the ugliest facial expression. Like he's so into that music, he's ugly. Shout My Tears for Fears was the song that I used to play when I had to go take a leak. <laughs> yeah, so you should explain that. It was the longest song I had. So he, he played, he was a DJ at a college radio station. It's like six and a half minutes long. You can run down the hall, pee, wash your hands, come back, step outside, smoke a cigarette, come back in, get on the radio. I thought I was smoking before and I'm not in college. That was song so long ago, everything was either on tape or on CD. Yeah, so, yeah, when you were playing songs on the radio, did you play off the tape or did you play? Uh, so, in broadcasting, they, they used a tape called, they, they're just referred to as carts. Right. Um, which is the National Association of Broadcasters cartridge uh, standard. Uh, and it's similar to an 8-track tape. The main difference in, is that in an 8-track tape, the pinch roller is in, built into the tape. And in uh, a, a broadcasting cart, a little wheel with the pinch roller flips up into the tape. There's like a hole cut out in the tape, and it pops up into it. Um, and usually you just have one song on one of those tapes. So like anything you probably listen to on the radio in the earlier part of your life, they probably dumped a, a record onto a cart and played the carts. And if you had it set up really well, we never did. Because we just, you know, whatever engineering we could get done was what people, time could people could spare us. But you could have those chains and put, uh, you could put tones on the cart that would fire the next one. Ah, okay. I always figured that's how they did television, local television channels. The local television, uh, they usually had somebody that ran the feeds, but they did make something that was an automatic cartridge style player for commercials. Right. I mean, because they were short. Unique monster. It's a giant mechanical ant. It's them! Oh, 
why didn't they get? Oh, because we just done a. We had these really neat um, CD players, though, that you put. We had to buy a bunch of cases, and you'd put the CDs into the cases, and you could just push them into the front of it like a cartridge. And then it just had a knob on it, and you just turn the knob to the track you want, and it, you could fire it off the board. Yeah, I remember that. Occasionally, you saw something similar in a computer. Like, I had one that had a cartridge loaded. Now you can't even get an optical drive in a computer, hardly. That's actually not... Well, there's two ways they could do a hidden track on a CD. They could just leave the recording running and you had to wait through dead space to get to it. Or you could... Um, there was a way you could bury it in... Um, I forget what they called it. It's a feature of CDs that didn't be used a lot. did is yeah my pc doesn't have a optical drive uh but we got a usb one so there was a game my close combat that i played that was on an optical drive so i had the original cd and uh i just plugged that into the pc and used it that way so uh, i made this i built this computer that i have in 2016 so, probably gonna replace it in the next yeah, year. Yeah, you probably need to rebuild it. Because mine doesn't have TPM. Yeah, you can't upgrade to. I can't upgrade to Windows. Well, it's though. also it doesn't support my 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 processor. Um, you could like not rebuild the whole PC. Just replace some people. Well, I mean. Depends on what you want. I'd probably do a fresh install of Windows again. And I would probably replace the motherboard, the processor, and probably the video card, because the video card is, what, eight years old now? Yeah. We make a great team! Or I could just stay on Windows 10 until 2025. And do it then. But uh, anyway, uh, the reason I brought it up is I have I put a, a Blu-ray drive in this machine and it went to use it one day and it was totally dead and I didn't even know it. Oh, really? Yeah, because you never use it, right? Yeah, this is the, this is the second one. What were you looking for? What were you doing? You I think it was a game disc. Hello? Maybe? Or software? Well, I mean, I'm not worried about when to upgrading to Windows 11. I don't even 
particularly like it, but they are going to at some point quit doing the updates to it because they want to kill it off. I mean, you know, unless you plan to not connect the computer ever again to the internet, that's not a great idea. I mean, there are people who do that. Like, there are people out there running, like, Windows XP machines. They just don't connect them to the network anymore. And they do that, you know, because they have some piece of software that's been orphaned or, um, or like, a, ver a version they like. But, or, the, or, or it's something like Adobe where they... You can't hardly actually buy a piece of software from Adobe anymore. It's all on subscription. I bought a Core i7-6700. That's what you currently have. That's what I currently have. It was a 3.4 gigahertz. AM processor cache, 4 LGA. Well, I'm just telling you what the Windows help check thing told me. Which, you know, I feel like I was lied to because they said Windows 10 was the last Windows. They're just going to keep updating. <laughs> and then they, they lied. Okay, let's get going. Oh, it's saying. Oh. Holy shit! Mass produced base? This PC must support support secure boot. These are these are the things that it's failing me on. TPM2 must be supported and enabled. This processor isn't currently supported for Windows 11. There's the minimum system requirements, and somewhere on there is a list of approved processors. If you can believe such a thing. I remember what, running Windows 3.1 on an original IBM PC. Slow as dog shit, but you could do it. Let's keep on going like this, guys. There we go. Uh oh. 
Ah. Get this thick. How many of these things do we have to kill? He's trying to jump. He's like, I can't be a Mechon anymore. I goodbye, cool Mechon world. Mecha Lekka High. <laughs> Mecha Honey Ho. Smell the banana bread. Smells good. Struggling with that first battle. Were, were you worried that, like, uh oh, it's just gonna be like a close? Like, oh no. Why? What happened to a Oh, well, he started this game and then was like, oh no, I can't play this game. God, I wish you had. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> I like that. God, I wish. I wish it didn't that way. This Neil. That just took me a while to understand it. I hate this. I mean... You should never have to use TurboTax again. <laughs> you managed to pick this game. <laughs> Not that complicated. I wish TurboTax was like a, a JRPG. Doing your taxes is like a JRPG. There's a group at work that I describe as having all of the charm of the internal revenue service. I, I think so too. Aklos has streamed a lot of stuff, so I'm surprised he didn't like this. And I'm sorry, Aklos is his whole thing, Purple Cup. Back then, he was probably Aklos. <laughs> Aklos Gaming. But then he rebranded as the Purple Cup. Do it. What? Ha! Almost there. 
collect anything because there's too many mech on I did. Ah, there's so many of them. bothers me the most about watching this game mm -hmm. is that you're fighting them but you never actually hit them. <laughs> you just sort of swish that thing around like it's a magic wand or something. Don't you see the, the number? <laughs> that means I'm hitting them. Yeah, but it's like that... Remember that Arl Nuts where they, that they highlight the kick of the guy in the face and it never meets up? That's what it, that's what it looks like. Zab. Just use the Monado's power. Give me some space! No, don't stop me! Take it away, Shulk! Yeah! Shulk! Everyone! Let's go! Gotta cool! Let's see, this is a special. Going well, Zab. Don't give up. I'm right 
I die right as I'm past, uh, casting shield. <sighs> well, I am doing a lot of leveling up. <laughs> <laughs> I can a driver three. Leveled up to sixty five. Plus the other. Really yeah. oh. 
get by these guys anyway. <laughs> Dang it. It was like, nope, you're not getting by these guys. By the next area? Okay. So it looks like we already leveled up to 65. Like the watch? No. Ma Nato. Mo Nato. Menudo? Not me. You've already made that joke several times. Already. A fungo? Funko Pop. The only way they can make this interesting is if they turn that into an anal probe. <laughs> hey, God, Scarab, how's it going? <laughs> Let's do this. Don't I'm doing well. Xenoblock <laughs> Chronicle. The, uh, the role of butt spot will be played by Flaming Baguette. You don't need to tell me. It is on. Uh, I'm playing it on the Switch. The original version was on the Wii. So this is the uh, definitive edition of the game. Oh, it's definitive. It's yeah. definitively awful. <laughs> it is not. You have to remember, Neil. Faces his opinion on what he can see. He doesn't listen to the game. He doesn't. He's not here the whole time. Right, come on, help me up. Well, he says that about every game, so. I say what about everything? It's terrible. Not everything is terrible. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, he knew I. I. He was trying to be. He's trying to uh, help me actually, because he knew I. You know, he knew me in original hardware, and that I would want to play this on the Wii. And so he was like, no, 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 this game's long enough. You're going to want to play the Definitive Edition. It has so many, like, quality of life updates. Like, literally telling you where to go with a yellow dotted line. I appreciate it. I mean, unfortunately, I'm having to fight the same people over and over again. Because I keep dying. 
That's unfortunate. Oh, why would I find this guy on the stairs? Why did they put such gigantic monsters? You're asking why in a in Nintendo the game? In their stairwell. Oh, in the stairwell. I was going to say, you're asking why the Nintendo Corporation puts giant monsters in the game, like hundreds of them? It's because it's in the stairwell. Oh, I see. Yeah, there was probably a lot more exploration. I assume I assume you played the original Wii version. Right, Houston. Oh, I thought he died. That's pretty good. We make a great team. Good thing I'm here. None? Anyone? Uh. Uh. Oh, there's a fucking landmark there, so I wouldn't have to. <laughs> And realized the story was really good. Yeah. I like how they, they will not let you. I guess that is. Now it's right time. 
something that's gonna kill him i guess i have control of that i could just move him out of the way it's frustrating you know? i'm trying to avoid the guy who's in the stairwell why can't i jump that <laughs> we walked right by him. Oh, I see what you're saying. When, when I was complaining about the spikes. Yeah. But I just feel like that's called auto attack, and so he's auto attacking to his death. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of my point. forget about the those commands An attack there. Sorry. 
Spider things are there. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I right, well, we need to get over. up the number of monsters are kind of in your way. Oh shit, the spikes. Special. Oh, I see. We killed one and then he attacks. Oh, good. He's not Xenoblade, the original name, like the Japanese name of the game? No, I think it was something about the Monado. But then no one was like, what the hell is the Monado? So. Well, all this means is either foreign or other, like. Does the Monado come from somewhere else? Or is there not that much more? Just a my Wow, another chain attack while it's on the ground. Pesky thing. You're up. Yeah. Ryan Scholar. Okay. Nice. Beginning of the world. Interesting. We got through that pretty good. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Okay, let's get going. I see it's a Telethia body. <laughs> That's the bridge.
Wait, how do I get over to that left again? There must be another way to get over to it. Uh, no, I don't think so. Xenoblade Chronicles, because there was the creator was like famous for his Xeno Gears games. I see. The original creator of this game. Isn't that kind of known for those? Top of me <laughs> and Sharla. Charlotte's dead. doing it. Sometimes it catches me in the middle of the heel. Oh, 
Myself. down it looks like a thing go back up aha i was supposed to go up Look at the full map. I see it's still blocked up. Okay. I need to go down to there. I think, I think go up there. Anyway. The dots are, are helping me. This game looks like it's lit like. Uh, what was that game? Battle Royale game that we that EA put out that we were playing? Oh, Apex Legends? Yeah. Everything has that sort of RNG cat. I think it's the time of... Well, it's morning. It's 8.07 a.m. Yeah. I think they try to kind of do the right now. Oh, time of the day. Oh, I'm I'm on it. Headshaker! 
<laughs> Did he play a, a stealthy game recently? I leveled up to 66. Comet retracted. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? I guess we're attacking. <laughs> I thought for a second I could sneak around him and then I was like, Sharta. Do you have brown eyes, Jistin? You have what? I'm asking Jistin if he had brown eyes. Uh, what? Oh, my first name. Okay. I don't know that his show up like that. When when Jason and I met on a Google Hangout, his camera made his eyes look so incredibly vividly blue. I think that was that particular camera then. I think it was the, uh, the, or the monitor, re the monitor light reflecting off it, my eyes. Yeah, it was it was something else. Because you do have beautiful blue eyes, but they. Are not like they, they were like the 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 spice people and dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, back then, you know, spice. Where is huh. ah. one more next to that? Okay. All righty. Spikes. Oh, I can. Okay. Hey, everyone. Hey, Five Color Queer. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. What were you up to? Magic the Gathering. Nice. Welcome. 
Yeah, there's so many enemies. I agree, Justin, in this on this map. Yeah, welcome everyone. Well, we're playing Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, it's a, if you haven't ever seen this game, it's a JRPG. Yeah, I've been playing it for, I think, well, this is stream 20. So that would be five weeks. No, four weeks. This is wrapping up the fourth week of this game. That's cool. We have a few games that are this long. Usually the Pokemon games are this long, but yeah. How was, how was your stream? Were you playing like digital Magic the Gathering or were you playing like uh, card Magic the Gathering? And if it's okay, I'm going to play uh, a clip. Digital. Cool. As long as you don't die. Elden Ring. Elden Ring. That's the game I was trying to think of the other day that people consider also, really I'm hard. to test the theory with that many, that many runes. <gasps> yeah, it was almost six weeks. <laughs> Into the infinite abyss you fall. <laughs> oh, you me. died. <laughs> thanks, everyone. Uh, thanks again for the raid. And welcome, everyone. In this game, you just watch this big guy sniff his underarms. Yeah, he, okay. he, does, he does this does. and does this a lot. He's, he's an interesting... Uh, he has some interesting animations. <laughs> yeah, she tries to she tries to keep her boobs exposed at all times or as much as possible. I figured that's why Houston really liked this game. We can't lose. Leave it to Roy. I don't want anyone dying out there. I mean, I kind of feel like I have to attack these guys just so I can level up. Because you said I needed to be close to level 7. Okay. He, <laughs> he does. He really likes a big pair of lore. <laughs> You're non discriminating when it comes to lore, is what you're saying. Whether it's, you know, A, B, C sized lore, or double D lore, it's all equal in your eyes. He loves Lore. Lore is the most evil character in Star Trek. I know, he was evil Data. He was friends with the Crystalline Entity. <laughs> the most incredibly odd villain in any yeah. or television. We win! Let's stay alert. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Just found. Oh, I see. Does it? Oh, you mean down here now? What are you talking about? This statue right here?
Oh, could be. Alright, so we need to go... <laughs> oh, there was like a specific one you were trying to get. Oh, did I not cast? Oh, I hadn't done enchant yet. Leggings. Lord of the leggings. Oh, she has Lord Legging. I would assume I have to go up. And of course there's this guy here. I guess I might have been able to sneak around him. It seems like they're all very much placed that you have to fight them. You're like, yeah, he learned something. <laughs> An old dog can learn new tricks. All right, we still need to get that. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you finally completed the tutorial. What? All right. There's where we're going to get some experience points. 25,000. Woo! Almost up to level 67. So let's see, where do we need to go? We can go back this way. Let me go down. Hey, 
I'm at 66. Why? My rifle is getting hotter. Well, unfortunately, I do have to get up earlier, so we're probably going to be wrapping up the stream in five, ten minutes. So, it will have to be something we save for Wednesday. I've kind of gotten used to this game just taking longer. Especially near the end here. I mean, I figure it, it, it gives Neil a more of a chance to finish uh, Tears of the Kingdom. It's, uh, it's just the, the cookie message, that's all. I just, every time, he every time I message. say it, every time it asks me about my cookies, like, I just yeah. am like, I hate the European Union. Like, didn't they, are there, were there people in the, in, in Europe that were like, what? They're putting cookies on my computer? What? <laughs> what happened? What? They saw it as malicious. Well, Which, I mean, I mean, they, it's they didn't advertisers have, that that took advantage of it. They they didn't have to go to those websites. It's when they all banded together. Where, where are y'all? No, no. Oh my God, where are y'all going? Mine's completely in the other direction. Everyone, let's go! Leave it to Ryan. I don't want anyone dying out there. I'm powering up. You can definitely do this. Right, right. You're a life saver.
Um. Well, hold on. Of course, there's someone here. Where is he going? We can definitely do this. I'm trying to go up because usually at the top there's been a landmark. Okay, so this was first control platform. Okay. And what were you saying? The statue? Ah, that's what you're talking about. save although I think it just thought I saved yeah we are on chapter 14 we're getting there we are getting there every day oh look at that it says snacking with the oldies it's a piece I didn't I didn't uh let me fix that real quick do, do, do. Snacking with the oldie. Sleep. Boom. <laughs> ah, thanks. Thanks, everyone. Oh. We're getting there. It's, it's just like a grind. It's a grind. I don't mind grinding through these games. I really don't. Um, it makes, it makes it even the more better as you, as you're kind of going through it. <clears throat> thanks Kivo for hanging out uh, thanks uh, five color queer for the raid uh, and then uh, go big truck both of y'all should all uh, go follow both of them as well um, I stream every Monday Wednesday Friday and Sunday at 9 30 p.m. Eastern and on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern I'll be back Wednesday Friday I'll be doing a special stream probably over at, at overture uh, uh, team overture uh, twitch channel TBD. I'll put it in my Discord, uh, and it'll be that'll be a lot of fun. I haven't played D and D or a tabletop RPG in a while, so that'll be fun. I have no idea what I'm in for. I was just they were like, "Do you like RPGs and space?" And I'm like, "Yes." And so I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but I think it'll be fun. <laughs> Um, thank you to all these people, all my subscribers. They get ad-free viewing. They get all those emotes. Um, uh, speaking of which, if you missed last night's overture, uh, the snacking with the oldies, everything is over on YouTube, along with everything else I've ever streamed over there. Um, thanks again, subscribers. Couldn't do it without you. I hurt you all. I hurt all of you. All of you whether you subscribe or not it's okay 
But I have to, I have to, I have to special shout out the subscriber. <laughs> um, if you want to know more, if you want to keep track of, of, of the community, go head over to the Discord. And that's our raid message right there. So give a copy and let's paste it into the place that I am now going to search for. Uh, place the raid. Boop, 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 boop. And I guess next next stream will be stream 21. No one. Let's see if anyone from Team Overture is on. Do. Huh. I usually try to go for uh, streams of games that I've played. I just think that's fun. And there's like over 100 games to choose from, so usually we can, uh, we can find something. Boo -boo. Uh, why don't we, uh, so one of the, uh, guys who was on the stream yesterday is streaming Dead by Daylight, and that is, uh, the Funko Beard. So why don't we go raid the Funko Beard? All right. Thank y'all again for being here. I hope you have a great week. Um, I love you all, and thank y'all for being here. Um... And yeah, bye, Justin. Bye, everybody. Stay safe. See you next time.